Who said that? <laughs> Martin said what? What's up? What's up, guys? Um, this is uh, time for some truth bombs. How's that sound? I'm not going to lie. I've had a frustrating couple of days. What do you have in your hand there? Nothing. You have a blueberry? Are you eating blueberries? Yeah, there you go. Oh my goodness. Anyway, um, how do I, oh, that was a crash. Um, how do I start? So <clears throat> I've been talking about weight loss challenge and things like that. It's been a little while since I've put a video up about that. And <laughs> as you can tell, nothing's really happened. Um, definitely struggling with my mental health right now. And, um, that in itself, along with some other things too, is just, it's really frustrating to deal with. Um, you know, I'm going to my doctor here soon and going to be getting some things checked out, but boy, I tell you what, it is, uh, it's rough going right now. Um, work started up again. Oh, honey, you don't need any more than that. Your poop is going to be terrible. Yeah. Your poop is going to be tar. If you can see what she's doing right now, she's actually putting more blueberries in. That's enough. No more. Okay. Let's make these last more than a day. Okay. Okay. So, um, back to what I was trying to say. Uh, yeah. Um, it's been a long, long couple of really a couple of weeks. So basically since mid August, I've been just swamped with work and everything that goes along with that. Um, really kind of aggravated with, uh, how work is going. Um, it's not going the way I want it to. Um, just because of COVID, there's a lot of adjustments that have to be made and it's hard. I mean, I'm sure everybody's dealing with the same stuff and it's hard. I'm trying, I really am, but, um, things have been difficult. We'll just leave it at that. It's just been very, very difficult. And my mental state is not exactly where it needs to be. Uh, to do that, but I'm trying to do things that are uh, keeping my mind off of it. Um, I'm trying really hard to just keep a positive outlook on things, but I will definitely say, I think uh, Laura, who's back behind me here working on something, but I think uh, she would agree with me in saying it's, uh, it's difficult. It's, it's difficult. And I'm really struggling this year with it um, versus in years past. So um, yeah, so that's something that, uh, that's going on. We are, are super busy in our household right now. Uh, we've got four kids in three different schools. We're running all over the place and running around over town, picking them up and dropping them off and doing the things they need to do. Um, thankfully there, there is still some activities that they can do. And so they're, uh, staying pretty busy doing that. Uh, I got one doing like a fall baseball work, workout camp kind of thing. Um, two of them are involved in scouts. One is involved in music and, uh, the other one just gets to go along for the ride on all of that. And I'm sure you know which one I'm talking about. I started this video really with no agenda whatsoever. And so this is kind of a whatever kind of video. Um, but I tell you, it is, this is a difficult one. This is, I mean, I'm not even, I'm not even sure what I'm trying to say, but it's, it's difficult. Um, so if I could offer any advice, I would just say, focus on relationships, focus on your family, the people that are, you're living with. I know that sometimes you don't get along with them, but help to understand each other, you know, cause everybody's struggling. Everybody's going through stuff. So someone's, <laughs> she's clean in here. What are you doing? <laughs> hopefully, hopefully I keep saying this. We'll see a couple more videos coming out to be quite honest with you. I've been so exhausted by the time I get home, I just don't feel like making a video because there's a lot of work that goes into it, even though I'm sitting on my rear end, but it's like all the editing and all the stuff like that. I'm gonna make sure things are going good. Like I'm sure you can hear all the toys and stuff rustling back here. Um, and that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. I, and it's life, it's real. I'm not gonna sit there and try to edit stuff like that. That I'm, serious. I'm just recording this on my phone with a microphone and then I turn around and just put it on my, my put it on my computer and then I edit it and put it up. So. Um, 
Excuse you. I don't know if you saw that. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I got her. <laughs> hey. See, there are bright spots on all of it. Did I get you? Oh! Ah! So, oh, hey, funny story. <clears throat> Last night, we have uh, three cats, and out of those cats, well, all the cats, they are, their claws grow what I think is too fast because we have to trim their claws because otherwise they tear up our furniture trying to do that. Now, we have stuff on the furniture, but that doesn't seem to help. So they continue, or they'll rip that off of the furniture and then use the furniture again. Now, uh, we bought a new tree, and they seem to use that a little bit more now, which is good. And so it hasn't been as bad. But when their claws start getting really long and sharp, they start doing it well. My wife and I were trying to uh, trim the kids up or trim the kid, cats up. And as we're doing that, this one cat, was it was chicken, right? Yeah. Went ballistic. I mean, she just had a fit. Start clawing. She broke skin on, on Laura in like three different places. It got me on one, on both legs. And then did this. Look at that. That is one heck of a cut. And that is what happens when you have a cat with really, really sharp claws. So um, we got chicken. Uh, chicken was my wife's 40th birthday present. Um, and so chicken is a really sweet cat, but she also comes from the street. And so she was a stray and she's always kind of had this like fighting attitude. And uh, so, yeah, so we'll see. I mean, I... Uh, hopefully I won't get cat scratch fever. I actually had a buddy of mine get cat scratch fever recently, which I didn't even know. I thought that was just a song. I had no idea that cat scratch fever is actually a thing. So, so yeah, but anyway, I didn't mean to be depressing here at the beginning of this. This is why I, I love this kid right here. She will do anything she can to cheer people.